Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. My name is Marie and I will be the host for today's webinar, optimizing your QA process by integrating TestRail and JAMA Connect. So before we dive into the content, let me cover a few housekeeping items. So first at the bottom of your screen, you have multiple application engagement tools that you can use. All those engagement tools are resizable and movable. So feel free to move them around to get the most out of your desktop space. You can also expand your presentation area or maximize it to full screen by clicking on the arrows in the top right corner. If you happen to have any audio or video issues, you also have a help widget at the bottom of your screen that will give you some answers to common technical issues that you might uh, face. Please note that you, we also have some resources ready for you. We have a copy of today's slide deck together with a few help materials. Um, so feel free to have a look and download everything that you may find useful. Uh, finally, the webinar will also be recorded and sent by the email that you registered with. And I also want to mention that uh, today we, we are here to answer you live via the Q&A widgets. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please submit them. Uh, we will have a short Q&A session at the end where we'll select some questions that are coming from the audience, uh, but please don't, don't be shy and reach out um, to collect any information that you feel is missing. Um, so after this short introduction, uh, I'm gonna introduce our speakers. So today the webinar will be co-hosted by two different subject matter experts uh, from JAMA Software uh, and Tastop. So we have Jeremy Just Johnson from JAMA Software, who is a VP of Product Management. Uh, he oversees JAMA's product strategy and roadmap, as well as product design and user experience. Um, on the test side, we have Zoe Vickers, who is Director of Partner Presales, uh, where she helps determine the best way to identify and optimize end-to-end -end delivery value streams within customers' organization. Previously, Zoe worked as solutions architect and as product marketing manager over the application delivery management software tools at Hulet Packard Enterprise. So after this uh, introduction, uh, I'm gonna hand it over to our speakers and they're gonna go through the agenda uh, and just talk a little bit more about the subject. Thanks, Marie, I appreciate it. Um, hello, everyone. Um, as Marie mentioned, I'm going to start by going through the agenda of topics that we have lined up for uh, you today. Uh, most of you are, are likely already familiar with uh, JAMA Connect's ability to manage requirements, test, and risk as part of your overall product development lifecycle. Uh, so we're going to start this discussion specifically around our perspective on integrations. Uh, we'll have Zoe come in and talk about uh, TaskTop Hub for JAMA Connect um, and tell you a little bit about TaskTop as a company. Uh, then we'll move into test management challenges that we see when we discuss uh, uh, product development with our customers and uh, prospective customers. And we'll also touch on the benefits of integrating TestRail and JAMA Connect. Uh, Zoe will then dive a little bit deeper into uh, the integration flow and some of the benefits and show a live demo uh, connecting TestRail and JAMA Connect. Uh, and then we'll recap some key takeaways and get into some questions and answers at the end of the session. So like I mentioned, I'd like to start uh, here with uh, JAMA Software's perspective on integrations. Um, and the, the first point to, to touch on here is really the, the best practice uh, around product development is to, uh, is to view integrations as a means to achieve live traceability uh, across the system's development lifecycle. Um, many, if not most of you are familiar with the V model, you see a representation here, um, and you may not be familiar with live traceability. So um, it's, it's really a component where uh, different pieces of data that impact the product development life cycle need to evolve, need to be very dynamic throughout the, uh, the process. Things like verification and validation need to happen much earlier in the process. And so maintaining this live traceability between all of these different product development components, uh, different assets that might be involved, different products that might be involved uh, is, is critical to optimizing your product development uh, life cycle and processes. 
Um, the real key here, of course, is that with this notion of live traceability in place, uh, issues are reduced um, and those that do arise are found earlier in the process. And you can see here based on, based on data from, from industry sources, uh, these issues, finding these issues earlier in the process can save 16 to as much as 110 times uh, the cost uh, of not finding them until later in the process. Uh, now, I think everybody at this at this stage um, of evolution understands and agrees that this is a best practice. Uh, but really the challenge has been implementing this um, in the real world. So why is it that companies uh, tend to struggle? And the reality is that, that most companies um, or probably nearly all companies um, don't have an end-to-end -end system development process that covers all of these components. They tend to be broken up into silos, uh, different tool sets, maybe even desktop tools and spreadsheets. Uh, some of those things come into play. Um, and all of those uh, variability, all of that variability in the tool chain uh, leads to potential issues. These areas with X's on this uh, representation of the V model, those are potential areas where uh, the traceability might be broken. Uh, and that results in significant manual effort, emails, meetings, um, all of those kinds of things, maybe a little bit of luck involved um, in trying to prevent delays and defects and rework um, and cost overruns that can come if that uh, those data points, that traceability is broken. Um, and, and JAMA software and JAMA Connect as a product can, can certainly resolve some of these uh, components in its inherent capability of tying risk and, and test information with, uh, with requirements. But, um, but many companies are, have come to really accept this uh, situation as unchangeable. Um, you know, if, if we don't have a single platform to do all of this, then we inherently need to manage these things in silos um, and, uh, and accept maybe desktop tools and spreadsheets are on some level part of the process. And those are things that we're, you know, you're simply not going to be able to control and manage. But, but really a, a key to, to bringing this all together to achieving this live traceability is to, is to sync this these existing top software tools, these best of breed tools, even desktop tools and spreadsheets and things with requirements. And, and so JAMA Software is, uh, is one of the companies that is really um, truly making this possible. And so if we look at, uh, at live traceability and uh, uh, an example of um, the connected data, the connected components within JAMA Connect, um, you can see how easy it is to define elements, the relationships across tools, maybe even spreadsheets in this example. Uh, this happens to be from our medical device uh, solution, but we have uh, similar but tailored solutions for aerospace and defense, uh, automotive and semiconductor for industry, um, industrial manufacturing, uh, various different industries. These components are continually synced uh, with best of breed tools, they're applying their own specific engineering disciplines and importantly, linking that back to requirements and other vital components of the product development lifecycle within JAMA Connect. So again, you can see some of those uh, connections in this diagram. Uh, very common for things like JIRA and, and Azure DevOps in, in downstream uh, issue identification. Uh, task management, some of those things on the execution side. Zoe's going to touch a little bit on how JIRA uh, comes into play in this scenario. We have test rail, of course, that Zoe will be talking about on the verification, the testing side. Um, so those will come into play um, as we get deeper uh, into this discussion. And one of the key ways that we help uh, customers achieve this live traceability is with our strategic partnership with TASTOP. And so to introduce you to TASTOP and some of their capabilities, I'll now pass it over to Zoe. Uh, 